Hey movie junkies, welcome back to Twin Flicks, where we always hear celebrating the magic of movies and physical media with you. Now, I was pleasantly surprised when I received this in the mail a couple days ago, and that is from Warner Archive Collection on Blu-ray for the very first time, Francis Ford Coppola's The Rain People. Now, this video is going to be a little bit different than my usual videos where I do 4K versus Blu-ray comparison reviews because I teamed up with my friend Dan at Return of the Disc. And what we decided to do was do a couple of videos where he would do a review of the movie itself and give his recommendation if he recommends it or not. And then he'll pass it on to me where I'll give a review of the Blu-ray or 4K disc quality. And we're going to kick off this little series here with the rain people so without further ado let's hand this video over to dan and return the disc for his thoughts on francis ford coppola's the rain people before the godfather francis ford coppola directed a dark grounded tale the rain people star shirley knight as a woman who leaves her husband starts out really slow starts out with like a shot of a puddle of rain we get a lot of scenic of small town country shirley knight when she's on the run literally like tries to escape her bedroom without waking her husband and her husband we don't really see him much throughout the film but we hear him as she makes these phone calls back home through a phone booth and admits that she's scared to come back the movie really starts getting into interesting territory and kicks into full gear when james khan shows up as a hitchhiker shirley knight almost feels stuck at this point where she picked up a hitchhiker who she feels sorry for but she also can't handle it so she tries multiple times to leave him on the road and leave him in situations that's where we meet robert duvall who's an officer and he's got his own problems too it leads to this crazy climax that i don't want to spoil but it kind of it stuck with me i think it's a well done movie though and i think it's dealing with some themes that are ahead of its time. And the way that Coppola frames some of the shots, there's an awesome mirror scene with James Conn and Shirley Knight where the, the mirror is pretty static, but the blocking has them going in interesting ways. Visual example of the dysfunction between the two characters. Audio Francis Ford Coppola gives us a little bit of a taste of the conversation. 1969, they had phone booths, and you get the audio of Shirley Knight's husband yelling at her and that's all like in the phone booth. The audio is very raw and rugged. The editing is interesting too where you know Shirley Knight thinks about her marriage and we immediately like smash cut to her wedding ceremony which is very much like the beginning of The Godfather, a big Italian wedding. But overall I think The Rain People is a well-crafted film. It's a dark film. I don't think it if you're not in for that kind of mood where it's sort of like an emotional riot at sometimes, James Caan is the star of this movie. I think that his performance is one of his best. The thing that he does at the end is just, it's very impactful for the whole film in general and left me with a lot to think about after the credits rolled. Overall, I'm recommending it for the performances, the cinematography, the early works of Francis Ford Coppola. And as always, this has been Return to Disc. I'm Dan. But now, how does The Rain People look on Blu-ray? Now, as I said at the top of this video, uh, The Rain People does come at us from Warner Archive on Blu-ray. And this is sourced from a new 4K scan of the original negative that was approved by Francis Ford Coppola. Why they didn't just spring and put it on a UHD disc? I don't know. But the point is, we do have it on this Blu-ray. But how's the quality? Well, honestly, if you've ever seen the film, then you know this is not the type of movie that carries a bright, vibrant, colorful image. Instead, the color palette is varied, uh, mainly leaning towards more earthy tones and natural tones. We still definitely have splashes of primary colors like reds, yellows, blues, but the film overall carries a more subdued look that does stay faithful to the era of when the film was shot, which was in the late 60s. And the color grading, the color reproduction completely captures this time period of filmmaking. Uh, skin tones look natural and warm. Saturation and contrast are dialed in pitch perfect, giving some nice life and punch into the image. And contrast levels help with darker and night scenes. 
the black levels here are on point, looking deep and true blacks and also carry some rich uh, shadows, giving some nice depth and richness in the image. As for the overall image quality, I will say I did notice some softness throughout the film, but this is not the fault of a bad transfer. Instead, it was just inherited from the original camera negative, so it was baked into the negative. Finer details look great from the motel decor, clothing, uh, the station wagon itself, all the night scenes also reveal uh, a nice amount of details that are visible throughout. Uh, the image stays as sharp as it can be and as clear as it can get, filling the 185 to 1 frame, showcasing the production design and Bill Butler's cinematography in full. The Blu-ray also retains the look films had in the 60s and early 70s, giving a really nice nostalgic look in the film. Grain structure is intact here, looking tight and nicely resolved and giving a really nice natural 35 millimeter grain field that gives a nice filmic appearance. All right, guys, so I'm giving Warner Archives Blu-ray presentation of The Rain People an overall 5 out of a 5 for video and audio. This is leaps and bounds better than any previous version we had before. And it's just an overall just great looking and great sounding Blu-ray that is definitely worth adding to your collection. All right, guys, well, thanks so much for hanging out with us for a few minutes here as we discuss Francis Ford Coppola's The Rain People on Blu-ray. Again, I want to give a huge shout out uh, to Dan from Return of the Disc. And guys, if you're not following Dan, go check out his channel. He has some great uh, reviews and content. Link will be down below in the description of this video. As always, guys, keep physical media alive, and we'll see you next time.